Let's learn about circle and its parts. There are many different parts of a circle. Or we can say circle has many parts inside or outside it. Let's draw a circle. Let's start from the definition of a circle. Circle is a two-dimensional closed metrical shape or we can say a curve which is at equidistance drawn from its center. So all the points from center equidistance means same length to any point in the plane. So center, let's take the center as O which is also called the origin or the center. Any word you can use for the center. Now what is the radius of the circle? Radius, it is the distance between any point of the circle and the center. So from the center, let's draw the radius of the circle. So this is taken as small r. So the symbol for radius is small r. Let's learn about diameter. What is diameter? It is a line segment whose end point lie on the circle. So the end points lie on the circle and passes through the center. So remember it needs to pass through the center. An end point needs to lie on the circle. So it can be drawn as this and the symbol for diameter it can be capital D or small d and remember diameter is twice long as radius so means the length of the diameter can be taken as two times r okay now let's learn about another let's draw the diameter again so that it remains in our mind so that's the radius and that's the diameter. So now, let's learn about the circumference of the circle. Circumference is the length of the circle or the distance around the circle or we can also say this is the perimeter of the circle. Like we find the perimeter of square, perimeter of rectangle, similarly the perimeter of circle is the circumference. We use the word circumference for the perimeter in circle. So this can be given as C. The symbol is C and the formula to find the perimeter of circle is pi D. Pi is a standard unit and D is the diameter and also we know that D is 2 times R. So we can use any symbol. So also C is 2 pi R where r is the radius. So two different formulas to find the circumference. What is pi now? Pi is a Greek letter. It's a Greek letter and pi is basically the ratio of the two different distances on a circle. So two different distances are like pi is equal to basically it's a ratio. It's a ratio between distance around a circle divided by distance across a circle which is equals to circumference divided by the diameter. It is the ratio of circumference to diameter. This is pi and the standard unit to find pi is 3.14 or 22 by 7. So two different values of pi we use. Let's draw a circle and let's draw the diameter of the circle and it take 3.14 the ratio for circumference to diameter. So this is the value. This is the standard value. Now what is the area of circle? We always ask like find the area, find the circumference. So area is the number of square units inside the circle. And the formula is pi r square. So with the help of this we can find the area. And remember r square is r times r r square is r times r and never equals to 2 times r. So many a times we do this mistake. But remember it's r times r. So this is the way we can find the area.